The following contains spoilers for Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Walking away from the theater after watching Star Wars, The Last Jedi, many fans have their long-awaited questions answered. Who are Rey's parents? What happened to make Ben Solo turn to the dark side? Is Leia a Force user? What does Kylo Ren look like shirtless? But while these questions are resolved over the course of the film, there are a whole new slate of things we're left wondering about, most pressingly, what is Rey going to do now that her trusty lightsaber is broken in half? We definitely haven't seen the last of our favorite lightsaber wielding badass, it's just a matter of how Rey will go about sourcing a new lightsaber that's up in the air. After Rey and Kylo team up and subsequently face off again, Rey's blue lightsaber, which was originally created by Anakin Skywalker and eventually passed down to his son, Luke, by Obi-Wan Kenobi, ultimately becomes a casualty of their battle, splitting straight down the middle while the pair faces off. When Kylo awakens after getting knocked out, both Rey and the fragments of her saber have disappeared, and we later learn that she's taken them with her to the Millennium Falcon. At the movie's conclusion, Rey holds both pieces of the saber, each with a piece of shining blue crystal inside, as she asks General Leia what their next move is, while she's certainly referring to the Rebel Alliance as a whole, she's also referring to her journey as a warrior for the light side. Rey's lightsaber destroyed, what will she do next? Well, we've got some ideas. We definitely haven't seen the last of our favorite lightsaber wielding badass. It's just a matter of how Rey will go about sourcing a new lightsaber that's up in the air. There are three distinct possibilities for Rey to restore her weapon of choice, and we've laid them all out for you below. We can't help but squirm with anticipation over the idea of the final possibility. Can we just go ahead and jump through hyperspace into 2019 already? 1. Rey could use the Jedi texts to find new Kyber crystals, then take her pick of lightsaber colors. Because Rey nicks the ancient Jedi texts from right under Luke's nose, she has all the information she should need to source new Kyber crystals, the core of every lightsaber, and create a saber of her own choosing under the instruction of the original Jedi principles. This is an important option, since we now know that there are other Force users out there and Luke promises that there will be other Jedi to come after he's gone. With a cache of Kyber crystals and the instructions to create sabers, Rey could equip future Jedi with their own weapons, revitalizing the light side, and thus, the Rebel Alliance. Related there was one big Star Wars, the last Jedi Easter egg hidden in Rogue One this whole time too. She could journey back to Ashtu and retrieve Luke's green saber. As we learn with the ancient Jedi texts and Han Solo's gold dice, Luke Skywalker is a bit more sentimental than he lets on. The jaded Jedi hangs on to trinkets that remind him of significant parts of his past, which means that he's likely got his green lightsaber stashed somewhere on the island of Ashtu. We see Luke wield it during a flashback of his epic confrontation with young Ben Solo, and while he closes his himself off from the Force and all things Jedi until midway through The Last Jedi. We doubt that Luke got rid of his trusty green saber altogether. Perhaps Rey will return to Luke's final resting place and take his lightsaber as her own. It's worth noting that during his final confrontation with Kylo Ren, Luke Skywalker chooses to Force project himself holding his original blue lightsaber, which was split during Kylo and Rey's battle. This may be because he connects most deeply with the saber crafted by his father or to further illustrate how blinded Kylo has become by his anger and bitterness toward Luke, but either way, it seems significant that he doesn't fight with his green lightsaber in this scene. 3. Rey could use the cracked crystal to create her own lightsaber, based on Kylo Ren's homemade, rough edge lightsaber. We know that it is possible to create a functioning lightsaber with a damaged kyber crystal. Since the heart of Rey's saber was split in two, we may see her attempt to repair the damage and forge a new weapon, either as a dual-edged saber, a lightsaber staff, or as a traditional laser sword that's rough around the edges like Kylo's. The visual of a ragged red saber versus a ragged blue saber would increase the parallels between the pair with a visual element, showing the dark side and the light with imperfections. Though, let's be real. The idea of Rey using her signature fighting staff with two lightsaber edges is just too cool to pass up. Hint, hint.